by you forget psalm 103 says do not forget 104 also do not forget 106 and 107 is the detailed account of how they forgot 106 you will find 35 times it is written they have forgot sixth verse 1066 Both we and our ancestors have sinned. We have committed iniquity, have done wickedly. Our ancestors when they were in Egypt did not consider your wonderful works. They did not remember the abundance of your steadfast love, but rebelled against the most high at the Red Sea. Yet he saved them for his name's sake, so that he might make known his mighty power. You can read, even read from thirteen, fourteen, and fifteen. But they soon forgot his works. They did not wait for his counsel. But they had a wanton craving in the wilderness and put God to the test in the desert. He gave them what they asked, but sent a wasting disease among them. Sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. They were jealous of Moses in the camp and of Aaron, the holy one of the Lord. The earth opened and swallowed up Dathan, and covered the faction of Abiram. Fire also broke out in their company. The flame burned up the wicked. Nineteen to twenty-one. They made a calf at Horeb and worshipped a cast image. They exchanged the glory of God for the image of an ox that eats grass. They forgot God, their Savior, who had done great things in Egypt. Twenty-four and twenty-five. Then they despised the pleasant land, having no faith in His promise. They grumbled in their tents and did not obey the voice of the Lord. Twenty-eight and twenty-nine. Then they attached themselves to the Baal of Peor and ate sacrifices offered to the dead. They provoked the Lord to anger with their deeds, and a plague broke out among them. Remember, recorded ten miracles in Egypt, ten miracles in the wilderness. They are the people. Details written. Hundred and seven, continue eleven and twelve. For they had rebelled against the words of God and spurned the counsel of the Most High. Their hearts were bowed down with hard labor. They fell down with no one to help. Then they cried out to the Lord in their trouble. He saved them. Then what happens? Seventeen to ninety. Some were sick through their sinful ways, and because of their iniquities, endured affliction. They loathed any kind of food, and they drew near to the gates of death. Then they cried to the Lord in their trouble, and He saved them from their distress. Then twenty-three to twenty-five. Some went down to the sea in ships, doing business on the mighty waters. They saw the deeds of the Lord, His wondrous works in the deep. For he commanded and raised the stormy wind, which lifted up the waves of the sea. They mounted up to heaven. They went down to the depths. Their courage melted away in their calamity. They reeled and staggered like drunkards, and were at their wits' end. Then they cried to the Lord in their trouble, and He brought them out from their distress. Every time it is they forgot, then they cried out. He brought up. They for forgot. They cried out. They forgot. It's a repetition. Why is it recorded? The whole history of Old Testament is the forgetfulness of people of God. God has done. They continue to rebel with God. What is the summary of New Testament people? Obedience or rebellion? If we take up the subject of disobedience, all of you will write disobedience also. You say you believe, but the disobedience continues. One of the difficulties of Christians will be obeying God. But we all believe the miracles. 